Hi, Lang Habs. It's Ms. Homan from Room 9. Today, we're going to do a lesson about our feelings. And it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to feel all sorts of different things. Um, you don't have to be happy all the time. So we are going to read a story today called Grumpy Monkey. Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabo. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabo. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabo. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabo said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy. Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Me? Grumpy? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off.
Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really bad, sorry, really sad, Until he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No. I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. So we're gonna talk a little bit about our feelings and what I want you to do is grab a pen or pencil, marker, something to write with and a piece of paper. And I will be here ready for you when you get back. All right, my friends, so you can see I have my paper here and I have my pen that I am going to write with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a T chart. So go right down the middle and then right across the top. And we're gonna make two different sections. What makes me grumpy? What makes me feel better? And the thing is, is that everyone wanted to fix Jim. They wanted to make him feel better. And they didn't want him to be okay in his grumpiness because they're his friends. They wanted him to feel better. But sometimes it's okay to be grumpy and there's reasons that we get grumpy. So we're gonna just look at this list and then you're gonna finish it up and take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. So what's something that makes Miss Holman grumpy? Hmm. Hmm. If I'm tired. If I didn't sleep good one night and then I go to work or I go to the store, I might be a little bit grumpy with people that I don't even know because I'm tired. Something else that might make me grumpy is Hmm. Being hungry. Sometimes we get grumpy if we're hungry. If we haven't eaten enough, we just get our emotions just get the best of us sometimes. And then what are some things that make me feel better for Miss Holman? So something that makes me feel better is a hug. Or a high five. Because we can't really do hugs right now. A high five. Sometimes I just need to take a nap. So there's a lot of things. So what I want you to do is I want you to give me about five things that make you grumpy and about five things that help you feel better. And you are more than welcome to use the ones that I put. So I'm tired, I'm hungry, a hug, a high five, or a nap. But I also want you to think about what makes you grumpy. Now, because his friends wanted him to feel better, everyone was just asking Jim, what's wrong, what's wrong? You should do this, you should do that. And they weren't just letting Jim be grumpy and feel the way he was feeling. And sometimes, even when it's your family and your closest, dearest, most favorite people, you just kind of have to let them be grumpy. Right now, when we're stuck at home and there's so many things happening around us, that we can't control, it's okay to feel what you feel and what I feel. I know I've heard from a lot of parents and some of the other teachers that we're having a hard time being at home or not knowing what, what's happening or if we're going back to school or when we're gonna see our friends again. So those can create feelings inside of us. And it's okay to feel those things. 
what you want to do is feel them and think about them, think about what caused them, and then kind of find one of those things that's going to help you feel a little bit better. At our, the end of our story, Jim said, yes, I'm grumpy. And I yelled at my friends. I'm sorry I yelled at my friends. But his friend Norman said, you know what? It's okay that you're grumpy. It's a great day to be grumpy. And Jim said, you're right. I need to be grumpy right now. But I think I'm going to start feeling better soon. So even when you're grumpy and cranky and sad and worried and mad or all of these different feelings that you think you're not supposed to be feeling, just think about what's making you feel that way. And maybe you don't know. Like, I don't think Jim ever found out why he was grumpy. He just woke up and he was in a funky mood. But he also just accepted it and let it process. And then he started thinking about feeling better. And that's something I really want you to do. I'm actually going to challenge you. If you give me five things that make you grumpy, give me 10 things that make you happy, that make you feel better. And it can be the smallest, littlest thing. But you want to have lots of ways to figure out how to get out of those grumpy moods. So friends, I am so excited to see what you're going to share. I hope that you know it's okay to be grumpy, but also know that you really want to get out of it as soon as you can, because being grumpy is not a lot of fun all the time. So I will see you guys soon. I hope that you enjoyed our story, Grumpy Monkey. When I was exploring the story, I found out there's a couple more Grumpy Monkey books that I'm going to try to get. So um, like I said, have fun. Rewatch the story if you need to. If you're in a grumpy mood, you can be grumpy with Jim. I will see you soon and have a wonderful day. Bye.